The sad thing is that Gretchen will tie your hands, put a gun to your head, and ask if you're ready to talk. For someone so worried about being kidnapped, Gretchen Whitmer sure is good at taking business hostage and holding it for ransom. Some of you that pay attention to politics a lot on a daily basis probably reacted with shock to that. Others uh, might think, wait a second, the kidnapping, is she saying what I think she's saying? Yes, she very much is. Tudor Dixon, real name, we checked, gubernatorial nominee for the Republicans going up against Gretchen Whitner, Whitmer, who was, of course, the target of a kidnapping plot where they would have kidnapped her and then who knows what afterward physical violence, sexual violence, assassination. We don't know what they would have done. Tudor Dixon has now made it a part of her stump speech to mock that, to mock Gretchen Whitmer being scared of being kidnapped. That is a thing she is doing, not behind closed doors as if that would make it right, in front of cameras, enthusiastically. And I guess we shouldn't be surprised. I guess this is where the Republican Party was always going to go. She's got other variations on this as well. At another campaign event later in the day, she doubled down. She joked that Ms. Whitmer had looked unsure of what was going on as she held President Biden's hand during his recent visit to an auto show in the state. Quote, the look on her face was like, oh my gosh, this is happening. I'd rather be kidnapped by the FBI. I don't even know what the FBI part is. I don't think that Tudor does either. But the point is, <laughs> you remember how she was almost kidnapped? They were gonna like haul her away and probably kill her. You remember that thing? Let's do some topical jokes about it, Francesca. So I don't know much about Tudor Dixon, but I know she's the worst. Yeah, she's got kind of a stone cold C word vibe going on where, and there's no pizzazz, you know, like uh, it makes me, it, it takes someone uh, like Tudor Dixon to make you miss someone like Lauren Boebert or Marjorie Taylor Greene, who at least put a little sass into their horrible, lines yeah. celebrating political violence um but no tudor dixon just someone else wrote that for her and nope. she spit it out she got a laugh line and an applause and then she was like yes fembot unleashed like she was just she's a frightening character and i think it is really striking to her point is about business right that like that yay business you know she's gonna handcuff businesses and, and I love the right still trying to peddle these lies around business as if all we should do in our lives, that Michiganders, that's what's going to help them, is if they just bow down to big business that has made hand over fist money in the pandemic. And by the way, has forced more women and mothers out of the workforce because we can't get basic things like paid maternity leave, um, paid family leave. That, oh, yeah, 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 let's just please bow down to business even more. This is a woman who's like, says she's pro-family. And that, of course, and you know she's pro-family because she's anti-choice, which is somehow not dissonant for Republicans, even though 60% yeah. of people who seek abortions are already moms. Anyway, um, so it, it just, it's going to fail. Honestly, I'm going with the woman who survived a, uh, an, a like an attempt on her life. That's pretty badass, I would say. And I don't, I don't think this strategy is getting Dixon anywhere. Yeah, I and mean, look, she's just the latest to take this kidnapping plot and try to imply that it wasn't something serious. But we should take it seriously. We have to take it seriously. Like this is this. How do you normalize political violence? This is how you normalize political violence. Make it a joke. You you make it routine to question. Well, is it really that serious? And and this can come in a lot of different forms. Um, the kidnapping plot. Well, you know, was it really serious? Tucker Carlson, like a week ago, calling the uh, the coup, the January 6th committee, uh, January 6th uh, insurrection, a nonviolent election integrity protest. My God. This this is how you, people died. People died at that event. This is how you do it. And like, so I've said for a while, and thankfully this still hasn't happened. If somebody, God forbid, finally brings their AR-15 to a campaign event and guns down multiple Congress people. If you think, well, then that's going to be a line and Fox is going to be like, oh, dear God, what have, what have we done? What have we been encouraging? No, no, they will immediately leap to 
trying to find some way to imply that no, secretly the guy was on the left that did it, or he was Antifa, or and you don't think they're going to be making memes joking about it, about the slain Congress? That is going to happen, and this is this is one step along that path. A really fast statement from the campaign of Whitmer saying threats of violence, whether to Governor Whitmer or to candidates and elected officials on the other side of the aisle are no laughing matter. And the fact that Tudor Dixon thinks it's a joke shows that she's absolutely unfit to serve in public office, which is totally true. Mm -hmm. um, but this has been a really serious block and I don't wanna be too much of a downer. So I know that Tudor Dixon loves jokes. So I've got a joke for her and let's see if she gets this one. The joke is, her candidacy, because right now she's apparently down like 16 points to Gretchen Whitmer. And I think that's hilarious, honestly. I think that that's way funnier, better punchline than any of her jokes about kidnapping. Any other <laughs> thoughts, Francesca? I mean, yeah, she's gonna have her own Fox show very, very soon. Yep. Um, sh she'll be fine. I'm sure she's uh, personally wealthy. Um, life's good for Tudor Dixon. Yeah, Tudor Dixon gives off, uh, I've been wealthy since I was being weaned energy. I don't know for sure, I'm pretty sure. I bet all that I have, that's not much in comparison to what she almost certainly has, but I'm yeah. pretty sure. She, she, anyway. calls, she, she called people the help at age, like her first words were like, you're fired, you know what I mean? <laughs>